Hey guys, Perry here to do an album review. Today I'm here to tell you all about the latest from Hidden Empire of the Blind, out September 18th on Nuclear Blast. This album has 12 tracks, 47 minutes in length, and this is the band's four full length studio album. Ten years have passed since the evolution of chaos, and Hidden is back with a brand new record. A record that has to be divided into three main core components structure, sound, and vocals. As far as structure is concerned, this is not a roller coaster ride. This is actually an album that has a very classic heavy metal feel into the way it's put together. It alternates tracks extremely well, not just from a sound perspective, but how they're created and constructed. So it gives you a bumpy ride, but definitely not a roller coaster ride. There's definitely a dip, uh, not in the middle of the record, but more towards the last third of the album with the song Shrine of Apathy, definitely more melodic, more of a ballad driven style track that works really well in the overall mixture of this album and definitely works really well in the overall structure of the album. But the two main key components as far as the overall feel of this record is concerned is definitely the intro and the outro. The intro is the Rotting Sphere, an instrumental track that just really allows the album to open its doors, roll the red carpet and get you engaged with the sound and the presence that this record has. And then the outro monument of Ruin that really becomes the coming down of the curtains. Now there's a little bit of a caveat to these two tracks and that caveat is the fact that they're connected with the melody that they held. It's the same style, same approach, same melody. Uh, so it allows the record to go full circle. This is an album that doesn't have just a beginning and an end. It's an album that has a, a continuous approach to it. So once you start listening to it on the first song, you can't just finish it on the last one because the last one will continue into the first track of the album. So there's this sense of continuity, this sense of fluidity that's present within the record and then it's present in how they constructed the album and how they set up the intro and the outro. As far as sound is concerned, this is an album that also has that classic feel to it. It's definitely a thrash metal sounding record, but there's a lot of classic heavy metal sound mixed into that thrash metal. So it's not a pure thrash metal sounding album, even though that is the main genre, the main driving force of everything that surrounds this record. But there's a lot of classic heavy metal elements that really play a factor in how this album comes across and how the songs come across. And that is not just from a structural perspective, but also from a sound perspective. If you go deeper into the sound, you really have to give a nod to the guitars. The guitars on this album are phenomenal. They have great sound, great approach, great delivery, and they're absolutely outstanding. They have a very thick volume to them. They're very driven at times. They're, they're chugging in others. They just have this ability to alternate styles, alternate approaches, depending on the mood of the track, uh, on the theme of the track, where the track is within the track listing. There's a lot of uh, conditions, there's a lot of elements that really push the direction of the guitars, but it doesn't matter where they push them, they always deliver at the highest standard possible. The solos are phenomenal. This is a record that's filled with incredible solos, incredible guitar playing, magnificent riffs, alternating styles, alternating approaches, knowing when to layer the guitars together, when to, uh, when, when to merge from one solo into the other, how to use different solos uh, with different vibes, with different atmospheres within the same song in, in order to really give the necessary the dynamic mechanisms that the tracks need. Just outstanding guitar work overall is definitely one of the brightest spots on this album. The vocals on the record are the perfect outlet for the emotion, intensity and aggression that this record holds. I really felt that they went with a more specific approach on every single song and this was definitely not one of those albums where there's one size fits all as far as the vocal approach is concerned. It's consistent, it's, it's cohesive across all different tracks, it's not like in one song they went uh, left and on the other song they went right, they never, they never went too far from the beaten path but you could totally tell that there's definitely a, a focus and an effort in order to deliver a very specific tone, a very specific style on each and every single song on this album without going too far away from the overall feel that they want as far as vocals is concerned. So it's an album that has a little bit of two worlds. It's cohesive, it's consistent, but at the same time very dynamic and very song specific. Overall, this is a magnificent record from Heaton. Really powerful, really driven. Some songs are very fast, uh, very powerful, heavy, uh, and there's some songs where they're more melodic, more melancholic, a lot, a lot darker with a much different atmosphere. But overall, you always feel like you're in this record. You never feel like there's a song that doesn't belong there or there's out of place. 
the structure really helps enhance uh, the atmosphere that the album has it helps to enhance the message and the lyrics of the songs and it's really well constructed everything came together perfectly the vocals the sound and structure everything fed off of each other and they put it all they mix it all together in order to create a very strong record across all three main core elements where there's not one element that's dragging the other ones down everything is really pushing the album forward everything is elevating the quality of the record as far as songs are concerned i want to start off with dead and gone great powerful guitar riff that really pushes this track forward the vocal approach gives the song a, a, a more of a melodic change i felt that musically this is a track that's very consistent but vocally is where you start to feel a little bit more of a fluctuation uh, and giving the song a little bit more of a of a dynamic mechanism that allows the song to, to have this this bumpy ride uh, across the the whole track from beginning to end having backing vocals in the chorus adds melody but does not add heaviness it just gives more of a melodic presence it makes the chorus a little bit more hooky a little bit more catchy but it doesn't make the song necessarily heavier it just makes it bigger it gives it more more strength more power the, the solo really pulls from the two sides of the track the more melodic side of the track and definitely the heavier side of the track I like that aspect. I like the merger of these two worlds coming together. It has a little bit of an old style feel to it and they're divided with a chorus. So they have the first solo coming in, that solo is finished, the chorus comes in and then they have the second solo. I really like this structure, really interesting, uh, really dynamic, really breaking the song and creating the, the necessary ups and downs throughout the track to keep the listener engaged for the whole song. Great thrash metal track all around. Next in black, heavier track definitely heavier than dead and gone it has a little bit more substance to it uh, it has a lot of volume it has a lot of speed and a lot of heaviness uh, the vocals become the perfect outlet for the intensity that the lyrics have this is definitely a song uh, where you where you feel that different approach vocally and really bringing something from the lyrics a little bit of intensity from the lyrics and to how the vocals are coming at you there isn't much of a change in this song as far as the verses this chorus is concerned it's a more cohesive a more linear track and it never really fluctuates too much it stays very together through all the different portions and all the different parts of the song the solos really light up the track they keep the heavy the heaviness of the song underneath it and then they put the guitar solos on top of it this really creates a, a lot of volume it makes the song feel a lot bigger it almost feels like it's expanding uh, when the solo when the solos come in into the track gives the track a little bit more heaviness it gives this track a little bit more substance and overall makes this a very heavy track all around last but not least devour the guitars on this song sound different in my opinion they sound a lot more penetrating they don't have that chugging feel to it. They don't have necessarily that heaviness to it. They're still heavy, but they don't feel big. They don't feel thick. They feel more penetrating. The drums is what gives this song that backbone. It's what gives this song the consistency. It really lays the groundwork for the guitars to be able to be a little bit more uh, penetrating and not as big. So I like the combination of those two elements and the overall result that uh, that culminates in having a track that has a little bit of those two worlds coming together. The vocals add consistency to the track as well. They, they're almost the perfect partner to the way the drums sound because they allow the song to come down a little bit, to have a little bit more bass to it, to have a little bit more uh, of a larger uh, foundation, if you will. Uh, they also use backing vocals in this track. And in my opinion, the backing vocals on this track really makes this, cat, this a catchy and hooky chorus I, I love how it sounds I love how it how it feels it, it doesn't necessarily take anything away from the song but it definitely adds a little bit of heaviness it adds a little bit of presence it almost becomes an anthem definitely a song that in a live setting would work perfectly well because where the backing vocals are is where you're gonna get the fans to sing along and and a song that has this kind of a chorus really catchy and really hooky having that approach of, of a main vocal track and then backing vocals works extremely well Definitely the chorus becomes the heartbeat of this song and it's it's the portion of the track that you take away once the song is finished. This is it, this is Eden with Empire of the Blind out September 18th on Nuclear Blast. Let me know your thoughts on the band, on the singles. Use the comment section below. I'll be reading those and getting back to you. Take care guys.